This year, I want to give you not a fable or a parable, but the very seed that God planted in the heart of Don Bosco and that gave direction to his whole being and his whole life, the dream he had when he was nine years old. It was at nine years of age that I had a dream. All my life, this remained deeply impressed on my mind. In this dream, I seem to be near my home in a fairly large yard. A crowd of children were playing there. Some were laughing, some were playing games, and quite a few were swearing. When I heard these evil words, I immediately jumped in amongst them and tried to stop them using words and my fists. At that moment, a dignified man appeared, a nobly dressed adult. He wore a white cloak and his face shone so that I couldn't look directly at him. He called me by name and he told me to take charge of these children and he added these words. You will have to win these friends of yours not with blows but with gentleness and love. Start right away to teach them the ugliness of sin and the value of virtue. Confused and frightened, I replied that I was a poor, ignorant child. I was unable to talk to those youngsters about religion. And at that moment, the kids stopped laughing, shouting and swearing, and they gathered round the man who was speaking. Hardly knowing what I was saying, I asked, Who are you, ordering me to do the impossible? Precisely because it seems impossible to you, you must make it possible through obedience and the acquisition of knowledge. Where, by what means can I acquire knowledge? I will give you a teacher. Under her guidance, you can become wise. Without her, all wisdom is foolishness. But who are you to speak so? I am the son of the woman whom your mother has taught you to greet three times a day. My mother tells me not to mix with people I don't know unless I have her permission, so tell me your name. Ask my mother what my name is. At that moment, I saw a lady of stately appearance standing beside him. She was wearing a mantle that sparkled all over, as though covered with bright stars. Seeing from my questions and answers that I was more confused than ever, she beckoned me to approach her. She took me kindly by the hand and she said, Look. Glancing around, I realized that the youngsters had all apparently run away. A large number of goats, dogs, cats, bears and other animals had taken their place. This is the field of your work. Make yourself humble, strong and energetic. And what you will see happening to these animals in a moment is what you must do for my children. I looked around again, and where before I'd seen wild animals, I now saw gentle lambs. They were all jumping and bleating as if to welcome that man and that lady. At that point, still dreaming, I began to cry. I begged the lady to speak so that I could understand her, because I didn't know what all this could mean. Then she placed her hand on my head and she said, In good time, you will understand everything. And with that, a noise woke me up and everything in my dream disappeared.
We know that next morning little Johnny told his family about the dream, causing his brothers to laugh and his grandmother to express her doubts. Only his mother, Mama Margaret, saw in it a hint of the future. And so we entrust ourselves to Mary so that she may help each one of you to keep alive in our days Don Bosco's dream, to see youngsters happy in this life and in the next. This is the task of Salesian education.